And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 12 Bit Tony. Today we're playing Tomb Raider. And uh, yeah, well, on the last episode we had to go through a very long cutscene. And on this episode, we we have to follow them. Also, we have new equipment. Bane. I thought I'd kill him. We have a, uh, a pop filter, so I can say puh sounds. Peter Pecker picked a peck of pickled peppers. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's that. Is that? And also, we have a sound dampener, so you can't, you, you can less likely to hear my keyboardy clicks. I didn't get them. So yeah, this is going to be, consider this like a test episode or something. Chunk. How'd I miss you? So yeah, test episode. You can consider this that. Alright, so we're going to move forward. Have a vigilant in Laura's quest to get her ass out of this island. Great! Pissed him off. Yep. It's gonna happen. No, no, no. Dance around. Dance around! Ugh. I'm dead. Great. That worked out well. Let's try that again, only, you know, without dying. Can we try that? Let's try that. It's not gonna be sufficient. Okay, but I not be on fire? Maybe I should climb a tree and wait this out. But I don't see any trees around. Home skillet? Yeah, that's right. Sneaky as hell is what we are. No. No! You look the other way. That's right. And yes, well, the new equipment was courtesy of Europe Shorty. Well, I'm paying for the pop filter, but the sound dampener he said was a gift for the channel. Thank you, Europe Shorty. Everyone should check out his channel at youtube.com slash Europe Shorty. He's got a new PvP uh, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic video. He's, he he plays his music in with it, and it's just, it's damn great. Damn great, people. You gotta give the man a hand. Give him several. Okay, so we're going to try to move ahead slowly. Yeah. So, going this way? Maybe? Which way ought we to go? He's dead. See if I can kill them all without anyone seeing me. Because I'm telling you, that'd be pretty awesome. I just need to pick up. Give me your bows! Yes, indeed! I really hope the sound dampener works. Yeah, this, this is the test episode. Test episode! To see if it'll work. Well, yes, I am going to publish the test episode. Well, yes, I am crazy! Dead. Every single one of you. Oh, I see you there. I see you sitting. You think life is good. Dead. And then that happened. I don't see any other flashlights, so hopefully. That means I got them all. Oh, I got 24 arrows. Oh, oh no, there's still someone alive. I can hear him talking. Well, technically, Lara can hear him talking. Me, I'm just gonna hear along for the ride. And you're dead too. Is that all of them? There's still some over there. How many of these guys are there? I think it's all of them for now. I don't see any other ones. I do, however, see some delicious arrows I want. So let's go ahead and pick them up, shall we? Okay. Flashlight. 
Ooh, more victims. Jump. No more victims. Ooh. Okay, so again, sorry if. Hold on. Oh, that's gonna be fun to do. to not be on fire so if we can make that happen that's great come on guys will you move already somebody move please someone had to have heard that come on Damn it, got the dogs on me now. I don't have to kill the dogs. I guess I, oh god! Uh, uh. Nope. And no! I'm gonna let this stop. You're just a pyro from TF2, that's all. Die already! So, I'm gonna think we could actually survive this dead. Oh, you didn't die. Now you're dead. Ha! Take that sucker. Okay. So let's see. Thank you. Okay, I gotta see if I can do this because there we go. Yeah, that was fun. I don't want... Okay, what's this? Ugh. That doesn't look pleasant at all. Okay, so I have a flashlight. No. Tappy repeatedly to pry open. We're good. Ooh. How useless. So I'm guessing that we're going to this cave. This looks like the most logical place to go because that's where everyone was coming out of. Exit the forest through the wolf cave. Okay, sweet. So let's do it. Ooh, graphics. Graphics everywhere. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, do it. Oh, yeah. Open that son of a bitch up. It's a deer. We don't need no deer. We don't need no dirt. Okay. Um, that didn't sound proper. Okay, so let me just do this whole Q thing. Okay, so this looks like something that can have something to do with something. Of course. Wolves. Don't make me do it. Like the ones in the forest. Are they breeding them? No. Oh, I see. Hold up. Try that again. Bam! I'm gonna try from down here, maybe. What am I supposed to do? Oh. I'm supposed to be fast about it, that's all. Let's go! We're gonna do this. This ain't no thing. Get ready for it. No, you don't! Okay, there we go. Looks awfully. Yeah, I don't want that. Hold E to ignite. That sure didn't seem like the best idea I could have had, but... Oh! 
I thought it was a pretty good idea after all, Tony. Way to go, Tony. Not knowing you're good at, look at that fire. That is a nice looking fire. Shorty was right, because uh, in one of my comments he mentioned I was very critical of this game, and he's right. I guess I just come from an era where like, games were more interactive than they were visual. And I kind of like held that on. But like for this game, for what it is, it's a fantastic game. And then, you know, the amount of games that have come out like in recent years, this game is truly good in comparison. But, um, to me, it's just like, it's a very visual experience, not a very interactive one, you know? Like, Lara, you jump, and Lara hangs on things automatically and finds her way to where she needs to go. Fast! Of course! I'll don a cape and fight crime! I'm sure no one's ever thought of this before. Okay, let's go this way. No, but, uh, seriously. It's not a bad game, people. Especially if you're into these kind of things. It's definitely not a bad game. Shantytown, does that sound so familiar? Have we been here before? I think we have. Yikes, looks like it's seen bad days. And they're just, how do I get rid of that? I didn't mean to pull that out. Whatever. There we go. Okay, I'm on my boat. Okay, I see. So we got everything going on down here. So where do we go? Ah, perfect. Is that something I can get? What's this? Press space to jump. Like right there, I didn't have to aim for anything. I just... I've been Sweet. trying to reach you all morning. We just got to the beach. Boat's in pretty bad shape. Without the right tools, we might have trouble getting it up and running. Could sure use your help down here. See what you can do. I'm on my way. Watch yourself out there. And we're on our way. See, so yeah, it's not that it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. But watch, like, it'll say jump. And I'll jump, and that's all I need to do. Spacebar, done. I'm not in control of any of it. It's beautiful. It's amazing looking, but it's not very interactive. I'll stand over here. See if it does it again. No? Ooh. That's one hell of a drop. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's a good game for the era. In an era of visual splendor, it's a fantastic game because it has more interactivity than a lot of games. Like, I've played... I've played Call of Duty Black Ops and stuff, and I gotta be honest, I, I I cannot stand Call of Duty. It's it's not even that it's trendy, it's not that it's popular. What it is with me in Call of Duty is that, like, y all you do is run and shoot. And there are some people who do some cool things, like the, when I played Black Ops 2, there's a part where, like, your cohort runs up to a sewer grate and blows it open with a blowtorch, and I'm like, well, that's fun. I wish I could do that, but you can't. Oh. Laura, are you there? Alex Sweet. said that you're on your way down. I should be there soon. I need to tell you something. What's going on? I don't think we can leave this island. Something is keeping us here. I have to go back to the monastery. Are you sure? Yes, Sam. I need you to keep this to yourself for now. Ooh. I'm going to help Reyes fix that boat, but then I'm taking it inland. Laura, I don't know about this. Just trust me. It's the only way. All right. Intriguing. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> Intriguing indeed. So where's the survivor's camp? Is it down here? Is it down here? Is it down here? Oh, I guess I'm not. Oh, oh. Very visually splendid place to see. That's for sure. Damn it, no. Wait, did it stop? Okay, hold up. I know what to do here. Bunk! Hold on, do it! Bunk! Whee! So yeah, please don't mistake my, you know, constant belligerence of modern gaming for me absolutely hating this game, because nothing could be further from the truth. It's a, it's a good game in its own right. I do think the storytelling is a little... not, not as good as people have been telling me it is. Like, Lara, I don't know, she seems to grow in, like, these extremely small increments for how close it seems we are to the end of the game, which I could be wrong. We could be only halfway through the game. Maybe we got this whole arc to go. But from what I'm seeing, it's just, like, I, I've I've played better. But that doesn't mean this is a bad game by any means. Remember, 12 Tony's not like that. Truth be told, the only reason I got really thing about it... Oh, too quiet. 
before was because, you know, it was my new first time back into Tomb Raider, and I want to give you guys something more than just me playing the game. Give my input, you know? But I think that's where we're going to cut this episode. So, as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Facebook and Twitter at those.com slash 12 bitoni and I'll see you guys in the next episode.